Hello, I'm Interesting, and welcome back to Let's Play Planet Coaster. Welcome back to our little theme park, and by little, I kind of stress uh, the little part of that. It is a little theme park. We have two rides. And not many visitors at all. Ooh, I say that. You're running, you can't wait to get here. Excellent, yeah, come on in. Hello, 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 hello. Ooh, oh, that's actually a lot of guests. Hi, hi. Welcome. Well, while you're making your way in, we're just going to quickly replace all of the uh, past with this glossy vinyl stuff. And we can talk about what we're planning in the park. Now, I'm kind of planning to theme the park around like a sci-fi theme. So, I'm hoping that we can just make sure we restrict our props and most of the uh, flooring to that. There we go. Now, we're not sure if exactly if we're going to make our money back. I kind of like to be able to earn money so we can build more things, but I'm a little bit worried. Because we don't actually have all that much. Now, one thing I do want to do, though, is actually do some research right off the bat. ATMs. We're currently working on that. And I would very much like to unlock ATMs, because that would mean that people come to the park can get more money out. When they run out of money in their pocket, they can be like, you know what, I want to spend more money. Awesome, because they only have a certain amount of money on them. That said, you brought in a lot of money. I like. Yeah, totally. Please spend all that money here. What are you here for? Great, free entry. Excellent. Got you feeling happy already. Uh, let's speed up time. Let's go to, like, max speed. I never understand, like, the hotkeys in Planet Coaster. They're so unintuitive. Like, O is speed up time? Why is O speed up time? Oh, because P is pause. Isn't space pause for most games these days? Yeah, but P's pause because P. It's like, hmm. You've been playing games from like 20 years ago, mate. That hasn't been a thing for a while. Oh, what else should the keys be? Well, we've got to keep them near to the O because we've got O and P now. So let's like make U and J up and down. It's like, really? Okay, fine. Uh, well, U and J, H, K are like uh, the alternative WASDA. So I, I guess it's not too bad, but still. Right, how are we doing? Are we like, making money yet? No, but we're making more money than we were. Ooh, 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 I see litter. Right, oh god, actually, that's that's a lot of litter showing up. Yeah, so we need A, a handyman, uh, which is unfortunate because they cost money. Hi, well, not a handyman, sorry, a janitor. I like how when we hire people, we just chuck them from, what is that, like three meters up? That's when you start to take falling damage in most RPGs. Am I actually, it's probably actually more like four or five meters up. Let's look, can we, like, there we go. Yeah, it's probably about four meters. Yeah, so in RPG, you'd be taking falling damage. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. We also need to put bins down, which is, I think is under scenery? Because, like, if you get litter accumulating in your park, people really hate it. Bins. Props. No, map extras. Yes. Sci-fi bin. Sci-fi bin. Okay, so my plan is, like, we have... Maybe sci-fi bins at the four, like, I was going to say corners of the octagon. That doesn't quite work, does it? But you want to know what I mean. Like, at the four um, diagonal sides, and then at the normal, like, Y, X direction sides, I guess, we will put sci-fi benches. Um, so here and here. We'll probably end up putting a path out of there, and then they'll just get nuked. But for now, that'll do. I keep doing space to unpause. Got that. We'll probably need more bins as well, because people people in this game are honestly terrible at going anywhere for a bin. If they're like, oh, but the bin's so far away, then they'll just like ignore it. Oh god, I didn't mean to put you there. Can we move you? Yes. They'll be like, like, they'll be in visual range of a bin. And then they'll go. Nah, that bin's too far away, mate. I'm gonna drop my litter here. At least bins are only like five dollars. And I'll put a bin at the end of every ride, just in case for some reason someone like decides they want to throw their hamburger wrapper away after getting off the ride. And maybe like a bench as well, just in case someone wants to throw up. I mean, not that you want to throw up on the bin, but I kind of want them to like, you know, have some to sit down if they get like... Research, okay, that's nice. Ooh, ooh, in by reveal, it means that we got, we actually unlocked it. What could it be? It's an ATM. I'm kind of expected that, in all honesty, but sure, we'll go with it. 
Uh, right, that means we need to get the ATM out. Where is the ATM? Uh, custom... ATM. Add to building six, and then... Oh, we have to, like, we can't put them on the road itself. We have to, like, set them back. Um, we can't put them anywhere over here because we don't have enough space, so... I guess we'll hide them internally, and we'll have one there. We'll probably have another one over here. And we won't charge people to use money, right? We won't charge people to get more money out. I think that's a mistake. Done. Okay. Don't charge people to get money out because, you know, they're going to get the money out so they can spend it anyway. So don't make it harder for them. Ooh, we're making a massive loss here. Why are we making a massive loss? Can you tell me about your profit margins and stuff? Finances. Income, just over 200. Running costs, expensive. And then salary. Yeah, you need to, like, up the price of your burgers a little bit. I mean, maybe it's just because we've only just opened, but that seems really kind of bad. I mean, you're still not making a great amount. Maybe it's just time. Still, you've got to make up for the toilet cost, because I'm not charging for the toilet. People really like it when you don't charge for toilet. Yes, think it's got a long queue time. Really? Okay. Sure. I mean, I don't think it does, but that's just me. Um... We've got enough money, I kind of feel we should put down like an extra ride. Because people are gonna- people are gonna get fed up with the park at the moment. They're gonna be like, eh, there's nothing really here, I've done everything there is, let's go away. So let's get the Psychola, because it's kind of cheap at 1.76. 1.76? Oh, I thought it was 1.7. And we'll place it here, so they've got like four in a... ...square. Um, rotate you a little bit. Place you here. Right. Right entrance. Um, here. And then exit over here. That's why we're like on opposite sides and they take different ramps. Okay. Right. Let's also get path. I say right way too many times. Now I've kind of spotted it. You're going to be going, yeah, you do. You really do. I don't mean to. I'm sorry. Uh, path. That's not a path. That is a, that is a path. Right. Okay. Okay. That's enough path for now. And then we need our exit path, which is four, I believe. Is it four? Yeah, it looks like four. We'll decrease the length as well a little bit. And I kind of want to go away at like a angle over here. Dip. Nope, dip, dip. There we go. All right. I'm going to have to move you. And then path. I'm going to pause the game just because I'm aware that we've passed kind of a lot of time and I want to see what our like finances are up to. Then I'm going to put in a three meter snap to 45 Q. We'll just make the Q go straight for now. Right. Oh, yes, open. Yay! Come on, come to the new ride! Come, my minions. Ooh. We have... Operating profit. Operating profit. I mean, obviously an operating loss. It's a toilet. Uh, the same would be true for the ATM. Profit. Profit. We should be making money. I mean, that doesn't take into account, like, salary and stuff. Yeah, we made a profit last month, and our uh, park rating went up. Ooh. 7% guest happiness. Not bad. Right, if we get park balance bonus to 10, we get, like, uh, a bonus cash. I think it's like a 1,000 or something for the early ones. Hmm. That said, we don't really have enough money to add, like, an extra ride or anything, so I guess we're going to kind of be stuck for a little while until we get enough cash. 
Maybe we should just do something with this here. Oh, we got over grand. I mean, that'll disappear quickly, but we should do something with the, uh, like, scenery here. Like, actually add something, because you do get scenery rating. We've currently got 10. Uh, that profit wasn't that good. 150. Let's check. You are... Dear God, suddenly you make, like, very little money. You made money last month. What? What? Why? Customers last month, 25. What's your, like, average sale price? 1180. So it's almost directly in between the Chief Burger and the Chief Burger XL. Okay. How about over here? Maybe we should use the, the burgers, because when people have a burger, they go, Oh, I'm really thirsty, so they get a drink. Maybe we should use the burgers to drive the drinks, so maybe we should, like, price up the drinks slightly more. And then, you know, we're happy running the other thing at a loss. Not Maybe not quite so much, just a little bit, like 30 cents. I'll have to see what people think after is about pricing. Home time, I'm surprised it took this long. Oh, it was this plane. Uh, time to leave. Home time. I've seen bigger and better parks. I can't queue up for- Yeah, you can't queue up because, like, there's a lot of people queuing for it. You'll be annoyed if you're in the queue. You'll be like, look, the queue is kind of dull. Oh, maybe I should put something on the queue to make you entertained. Ah, I get you. I get the what you want. You want, like, awesomeness. Right, let's, let's put some awesomeness down. To keep you entertained while you're in the queue. Scenery. Props. Special special effects. Let's filter it to sci-fi. Oh, there aren't any. Okay, what about props? We got anything interesting here? Like a, like a laser scanner? That's a laser scanner, isn't there? Yeah. It's pretty cheap as well. Oh, nearly had it the way I wanted. There we go. And we're gonna, like, scan you all as you come in. Now, are you gonna say it's... No, you're not saying it's dull? I mean, it's the people up here who's... There's not a lot to do here. Q looks really quick. There's not a lot to do here. Yeah, you're not complaining about the queue anymore. So I guess that helps. People do really like Psychola. Maybe we should just, like, increase the price slightly. Q scenery rating, 10%. It's good to know that that's a thing, though. 2%. Right, well, let's increase the price ever so slightly. 20 cents. And let's see what people leaving are thinking. Aren't many rides, this park is great. I think, you know, if someone says, there aren't many rides, but this park is great, I'm going to take that as a positive, to be honest. So cool today, well worth the wait. Okay, so generally a good feeling coming out of people leaving. I'll take that. Uh, I still made money even though we got like a negative challenge rating. Um, okay. Right, what we want to do now is we want to add stuff to this to make it look badass. So can we like change the colors of this place? Maybe we need to do that when it's closed. Can we do that when it's closed? Like we close it. Okay, you can't close, you can't change the colors. I just changed the name. No, ah, no, I didn't want to do that. God damn it. Toilets. Sorry. Okay. Can I add to, add to building six? Right, that adds to the building. Do you have any like doorways and stuff under, it'll be under buildings, won't it? If you want doorways. I can see this, like, going completely out of control. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to come back to this in a minute once I've played around with it. It's probably going to cost us a lot of money, but I don't care. I'm going to make a little bit. We'll see where we get up to. So I will be back. And there we go. Um, I may have not finished it exactly. There, there's certainly uh, work to be done, but I may have run out of money. You know, I thought I had enough. But, uh, no, that does not appear to be the case. I've also added some stuff over here, just because, uh, people, when queuing, really want there to be stuff to look at, otherwise they get really annoyed, so... I'm not gonna wait that long queue on it. Well, you, you are actually queuing on it. Like, I think you're actually on the ride, right? 
Oh no, that's guess thought about the ride. I clicked the ride. Right, let me click you. <laughs> the tickets are a steal at the moment. <gasps> you mean we can raise the price on the tickets? <laughs> right, what about other people here? Mm. Park is okay. Oh. See, there we go. Uh, this cube would look better with more scenery. So I've added a little bit of scenery to hopefully improve that. Um... Okay, no one's saying this is cheap. That's fair enough. So, let us unpause and see how this affects people's view of the park. Ooh, park balance is 9. When we get to 10, we get the uh, challenge complete, right? What do you think about this? I barely queued at all. What a nice park. There we go. What a nice park. This area is a little... Are we looking at the right area? God damn it. Okay. We are making money at least. We're definitely going in an up direction. Uh, uh um, oop. No, yes, yes, yes. Vaguely up. We keep popping into negatives, but we are mostly headed up, I think. Yeah, they're complaining about queues again. Hi, hi, hi. Cool! Free entry! I'm not waiting that long, I'm not queuing that long. Okay, yeah, so people really hate queues, despite the fact the queue isn't really that long. Like, most of that queue went on board the, uh, the ride anyway, so... We should probably name you something that's not Wild Blue 2. We'll name you, um, the Space Twister. Space... Twister. Yeah, I can type. And teacups. Well, I don't think we can really disguise that in anything else. Space teacup. Teacup. Belief. Space teapot. There we go. That's now all spacey. Psychola, um, space brain. There we go. Everything's now space themed just because I added like the word space in front of it. Okay. I've seen bigger and better parks. The queue looks too long. What are you thinking about the ride? Space Twister is cheap as chips. Even though I just raised the price by a dollar. Oh yeah. Woo free entry. I just got an achievement, money spinner. Hey, we made like a load of money. Bargain. Park is expanding. This place is pretty average. Park balance bonus is still nine. Mm, okay. All right. I think what we got to do next. I'll, I'll finish off the scenery at some point, but for now, I kind of think we need more rides. People are complaining about we need to expand, and you know, they're not wrong. We need to make the entrance larger. People are like occasionally getting caught on each other. Like, there, and they do- oh, Whoa! Did you just spawn? Did you pay to get in? How's the queue for that stuff? Fine, got a little bit of queue for milkshakes. They do bring all the boys to the yard, or so I hear. Hmm. You know what? We could probably do more of these, like, amenity things. Like some sort of merchandise, yeah? I'm liking the idea of some sort of merchandise. Speaking of which, uh, merchandise on Antrilisium. Look, look out for it soon. Totally. Maybe entertainers. Maybe that's what they need. Do you need assistance, human? Yeah! Do you need assistance, human? I can't complain I've got it pretty good. We just got employed here! Be thankful! I'm content with my paycheck, that'll do. Make people happy. Meanwhile, let's go to research. Oh god, Space Twister's broken down. We have no mechanics. Uh-oh, right. Mechanic! Fix Space Twister! Space 
Sorry about this. We'll fix it soon. Anyway, where were we? We're going to do research. Research. Been fixed. There we go. Start research. Okay, we've got like shop brand hats. Information kiosk. Yeah, we should definitely research these. Right, so let's do the kiosk. And also we'll do... The hats at the same time, maybe. I'm really tempted to do uh, gulpy as well, because people really like drinks. And we're getting a lot of people the milkshakes. So, maybe. I'll just leave it at the two for the moment. Because people want a map of the park, information kiosk. People want a, uh, a hat? Of course they do. People love hats. Valve knows that better than anyone. Space Brain is great value right now. Okay, well that's very surprised slightly. Oh yeah, we're making good money now. That's actually like a grand so far this month. <laughs> Space Teapot is cheap as chips. <laughs> Five dollars. No one's complimenting my scenery. I've got to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed. Yeah, they're complaining about long queues. Come on, no one's going to compliment the scenery. God damn it. Okay, this is making good profit. All right, research is going well. Arrow is making a profit. Space Brain? Not that much of a profit. Maybe it's because it broke down or something. Hmm. Teapot. Like, look at them. Crazy month of guests there. Like, that's a lot of guests. You've only got 32 guests, but you did get the most profit. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Adult groups, 31. Teen groups, 44. Family groups, 25. Yeah, we're pretty equally split. Uh, you spend money less on food. Normal on rides. Less on drink. You spend... Guests think Space Teapot is great value. Okay. Families spend more on, like, accoutrement stuff and less on rides. Okay, there we go. Oh, we should start a marketing campaign. I can't afford a marketing campaign. You need, like, a thousand. Honestly, we should probably wait for a park that's, you know, a little bit more all-inclusive before we do that. Like, you know, it actually has more rides for people to spend money on. Otherwise, that thousand's not really going to pay itself back. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Research project! Oh yeah! Let's get ourselves one of those. Information kiosk. That looks pretty cool. How much does that cost? 357. You know what? Well, I'm actually going to take the blueprint one because it looks pretty cool. And you know what? It's I say you know what a lot at the moment. I need to stop doing that. Um, we'll grab that and we'll put that near the entrance because people probably want the information as soon as they enter. At least that's my theory. Put it about there. Right, buildings to. Info, desk one. There we go. I don't actually want the building. I want to set the, the shop. That's really annoying. Can I like click on you? Ooh, challenge complete. Yes. Got the balance bonus. I I'm really frustrated by this. Oh, I can just select the okay, I'll have to select like that. Fine. Right. Priority pass. Honestly, ten dollars is okay at the moment.
Yeah, Talendals is okay because there's not that many rides. The priority pass probably goes up in value as uh, we get more rides here. For now, that'll be fine. Okay, we haven't sold any so far. Priority pass of suckers. I thought the info kiosk would like sell maps and like umbrellas, like the ones in Rollercoaster Tycoon did. Maybe we just need to just decrease the price because we don't have many like things here. And no, it's not really suckers. If people complain about the queues, they need, you know, to get a priority pass. Reveal the hats! Oh yeah. Right, let's add a hat thing to here. So we'd like to edit building. I'd like to add a shopping facility to it. Custom. And it's gotta be about those hats. It's all about the hat. About the hat. About the hat. No... Trouble? I don't know. Uh, we'll put the hat over here. Here. Right, so, like, you're... Ah, right, okay. So we place you here. And then like that. That's oh my god, I love it already. That's fantastic! Right. Hats fantastic. Yes! I love all of these. Maybe we should just only sell... Ah, we'll sell all the different type of hats. And then we'll just discount the sci-fi helmet. Just so it's slightly more common. Oh yeah. And then we should make something like a little bit more expensive. No? No, that's fine. That's fine. Sell all the hats. Oh yeah! Why did you not get sci-fi hats? Hmm, they should have got sci-fi hats. Okay, but we're making good money. I mean, we got a thousand as well from our challenge, but this is, I think, where we're going to end today's episode. The park's looking good. Even though it's only got three rides, I'm kind of liking it. We're, we're doing uh, not too badly so far. We just need to figure out a way for people to like these queues over here a bit more. And eventually we'll get this finished, and maybe we should research some more rides after we build a couple more. But I just want to make sure we've got the solid basis down. Hopefully we can get enough money to afford a coaster soon. But until then, I've been Eterilisium. If you like, like, and not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Until next time, stay shiny. Hats fantastic.